Motorola Moto G5 Plus Teardown. Warning, you're performing this repair at your own risk. We claim no responsibility for any damages that might occur. To perform this DIY repair, you'll need a nylon spudger, SIM card ejection tool, fine tip curved tweezers, precision knife set, premium 2mm red adhesive roll, multi-purpose heat gun, Phillips screwdriver, playing cards, Power down your Moto G5 Plus smartphone. Eject the SIM card and micro SD card tray. The 5.5 inch Moto G5 Plus Full HD display is glued on solidly. Apply heat to soften the adhesive. With the precision knife, carefully create separation and insert a playing card. Slice through the sticky adhesive and carefully dislodge the Moto G5 Plus display from the rear case. Take your time and apply additional heat as needed. The display assembly is still connected to the foam by cables along the right side, so don't try to remove it entirely just yet. Remove the following 19 Phillips screws. Use the tweezers to extract the midframe from the Motorola smartphone. Peel up the piece of yellow tape and detach the battery connector from the motherboard. Spudge up the fingerprint sensor connector and display cables to completely free the Moto G5 Plus screen. Decouple the G5 Plus fingerprint reader from the front panel. Pry the earpiece speaker up from the midframe. Disconnect the bevy of cables from the Moto G5 Plus motherboard. Remove the falling Phillips screws and then uproot the motherboard out of the rear case. Pry the 12 megapixel G5 Plus rear facing camera up, release the ZIF connector and remove it from the board. Extricate the 5 megapixel selfie camera from the motherboard. The next two components to surrender are the oscillating vibrator and the SIM card and micro SD card bay. Use the exposed plastic pull tab to peel the 3000 mAh battery off the adhesive securing it to the Moto G5 Plus phone.
All the replacement parts and repair tools used in the video are available at www.fixeasy.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. Make sure to take a look at our other DIY smartphone and tablet repair tutorials.